Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another little quick review. Um, this is something that uh, I've been I had for a while and just haven't taken a look at. And this is uh, from the Transformers Legacy Evolution line. This is Crosscut. Now for those of you playing along at home, this is the third repaint of the Skids mold. Fourth, if you include the, uh, what was it, the, the remold that was Crankcase, the G1 uh, TriggerCon, if I got the name right. Those names start to roll together, but you know, basically, this is the skids mold in silver with some red striping. Now, you might wonder, like, why is this done? And as I always like to add, let's not forget this is based on the Honda City. The Honda City is the most popular car in Japan. Um, so and when skids was released, that was actually a big anniversary year for the city. That's why we got Skids and Jenner in the Wave One Legacy line. That's why we got, you know, two ver, you know, uh, masterpiece Skids, and then the uh, red version re reblast or something. And there was the silver crosscut came, and there was the black burnout, um, which is also why you know we got burnout in the Velocitron line. But to be honest. Uh, that was about a year and a half ago. The anniversary's passed, and Hasbro is still putting these uh, figures out. There. There we go. Just, uh, I, I get anal about like crooked weapons and stuff. So it's absolutely lined up. But anyway, so obviously it's still around because these are easy repaints new heads etc etc we've seen the skids mold dozens of times we're, we're going to see the skids mold again because uh that trigger con is getting repainted with the head from burnout as the rescue bot medics which is going to be a walgreens exclusive coming sometime later this year or within the next five years how walgreens handles its exclusives but the Weapons were all the same. Pop that up. Um, you, you have the classic Skids weapons, and then this Energon axe. So, different ways of doing things. Uh, interestingly enough, the instructions showed just storing, doing the combined weapon, putting it on top. They didn't show the whole, you know, this hanging off the rear and then the side. So, but as always, you can do whatever you want. It is nice. Uh, I do notice that the roof is a little finicky in terms of staying down and staying together. Uh, that could be a little bit of the age. But other than that, everything came together quite nicely. Now, unfortunately, you know, my um, skids is, is packed away. Uh, burnout is packed away. Um don't have a version of the mold handy to do a comparison, but I'm sure you know what skids and burnout look like. And we're also just going to go ahead and skip the transformation. So we're going to go from this to this. And it's quite interesting to note that the repaints of skids, like crosscut, uh, burnout, I think with the red one's called reblast, re reboost. They have a little bit more of a characterization than Skids does. That's due to them being e-hobby exclusive. Now, I want to say Crosscut was a senator, and the red version, Reboost, was like its bodyguard or something, but ha ha really had a important part in Cybertronian history. But here it is in robot mode. You see the silver, the red, um, very nice pops, all the joints nice and tight still. Something tells me uh, Hasbro and Takara put a little bit of an extra polish on this just because um, it is a popular vehicle in Japan. And there's the head there with the faceplate. Um, all of these, by the way, are tributes to the Diaclone releases from back in the day that, you know, you had like four releases. That's, again, the Honda City, a very popular vehicle. And let's not forget, the Skids mold is a very good mold. Uh, you have a nice ball-jointed head. You have the universal joints of the arms, universal joints of the hips, deep knee bend due to the transformation, and, of course, the ankle pivot. So there's a lot you can do here. Oh, geez, I 
deal out. And, and I mean, it's just, you know, the, the, you know, the character, it's like not, not a lot there going on. I mean, Skids was even back in G1 was like an afterthought, uh, in terms of releases and stuff. So you just go ahead, armor it up, doing it the traditional Skid style. And yes, he's a Senator. And when the debates get tough, doesn't he? The guns come out. Yeah. So, there's really not much more to say. Um, you you should really know what to expect from this mold by now. So, uh, with that being said, how about we pause and we will come back with my final thoughts. One of the nice things about uh, reviewing these figures uh, you know, coming back to them a little bit later, is um, I can share the opinions I've had from other figures that have come later. Now, when we reviewed the Tritus, yeah, I, even though that was our first experience with the Studio Series 86 Hound Mold, I was very honest in saying that had this not been a, you know, part of a wave, and thus, you know, saved a couple bucks that way, I probably would not have picked it up. And I have to be honest, um, I have the same feelings when it comes to Crosscut. Obviously, buying the Waves, especially from uh, the independent retailers like Command Store or Big Bad Toy Store or Collecticon Toys or whoever else is out there, you do save a little bit because when they break down the individual figures, the ones that are in hot demand will get priced a little higher, while the ones that are not in hot demand, like Crosscut, will be a little bit cheaper. Um, but then buying the whole case, it works itself out. That's not, again, that's not to say Crosscut is a bad figure. You might have actually been waiting for this release, because, let's be honest, there's enough color selections that... Um, you can choose from and that find the one you like the best. Um, I personally like Skids in the blue and uh, Burnout in the black. In fact, I'm a little disappointed that uh, I think I've missed out on being able to get Masterpiece Burnout because I really like that Masterpiece Skids mold. That was a real... I mean, go and watch the review. It's It was a true delight to have a Masterpiece car that wasn't going to fall apart, break, or what have you. So, yeah, um, I'm sure Crosscut is still available out there. I'm sure you can find it for much cheaper than what it originally retailed for, because I'm sure it's been sitting, just because it's not a classic named character like Skids or Sideswipe or Sunstreaker. But um, if you're just looking to experience the mold and you like silver and red, there you go. You can't get much worse than that. And plus, if you're a Diaclone fan, the fact that in the last few years we've been getting so many Diaclone tributes in the Generations line, this is kind of like a must-purchase since, you know, this color scheme was featured prominently in the Diaclone line. I just kind of wish, for the price, we could have gotten the little scooter included with one of these releases. But then knowing Hasbro, had they done that, they probably would have bumped the price up like a Voyager or something, or whatever price point they're doing now with that uh, Power Links hot shot that's coming with uh, Jolt. But that's about it for the review. Nice, great mold, great figure. If you like the color scheme, pick it up. If you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps communicate to YouTube that my channel should be exalted and help upon high through the mystical, magical algorithms. I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. Dollar a month, $12 a year. You know the spiel. But as I always say, if you can't afford a dollar a month, $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. And, you know, with the seasons changing, uh, the holidays are coming up. Uh, it would be nice for you guys to remember guys like me and other creators who really bring you the content you enjoy. And we'll be bringing you new content 
come the fall when every when Hollywood is still on strike. I <laughs> uh, just had to throw that in. But that's all. Once again, I'm your old pal Chuck for Crosscut. We will see you next time.